Once that game comes out, then I'm going to be all over it. Nintendo decides to do their 20, 20th year of anniversary uh, for Red, Blue, and Yellow. And so I got stuck on that, too. They said they were thinking about doing a Red, Blue, and Yellow remake on the NX or something from what I read a few days ago. But Is it going to be 3D? Uh, I hope so. It better be. That, that'll be nice. That would be very, very nice. It would be nice to see another game by... Uh, Aha, now, now I know this guy. Atlas. I played him. Yes. Okay. Now, okay. He, he said that it, uh, it'll come to me once once I see him. Yep. Atlas, man. Going Diddy Kong right now. I know Kansas is uh, they are no chumps when it comes to Diddy's. They got a, they got a few up their sleeve. What's going on? Um, and I, I believe. Be oh, and he's okay. He's having a bit of a of controller issue here. Yeah, he can't. What can't you do? I don't think he can. Shield. Oh, you see, see, see. unplug your controller, uh, blow on it a bit, and then plug it back in. You should be able to get, get it working. That's something that you're actually not supposed to do. Nintendo uh, recommends against you doing that. Are they going to reset? Oh, yeah, I think he's going for the reset here. Let's it's see what happens here. I really hate for these both of these uh, two guys have to reset the match. but well, I mean, I mean, it's 49-47, so they were still kind of getting – Okay. Oh. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we're go going back. <laughs> okay, both of these two guys being gentlemen's about that. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah. I like that sportsmanship. Yeah, man, because at, at a really, really big event, it could have got ugly right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. Right oh, there. Oh, yo, there. your controller ain't working, bro. Well, go ahead and just, uh, go ahead and give that match up, bro. Give me that. Give me. Uh, you're going to have to hold that L, or yeah. you're going to have to play with a broken controller. Yep. But that makes it all the more glorious when you beat somebody with a broken controller. True. But that yeah, very, but very rules true. are rules. Rules are rules. That That's, they are, man. It's it's unfortunate, but sometimes the rules are there so that they uh, kind of bind us. Mm -hmm. They may make everything a more of a comfortable experience, man. Especially for uh, not tournaments now, but tournaments to come in the future. Right. Um, you, you'd hate for this tournament to be the one where they're like, dude, man. But yeah, you, I mean. There was that one tournament at Boom Comics where you, you let it happen, man. How come you can't let it happen again? You know? Right. So, but regardless, it looks like that was kind of the incentive that Atlas needed to try to bring this match back. Oh, but as I say that, gets hit with something very, very vicious. <laughs> that Yoshi bomb. Oh, but he's still living. And down then tilt. down tilt to imagination, as MJG would call it. Yep. That's, a, that's another thing that kind of sets me off. Like, so, some of these characters, they, they can get so much out of anything like they just hit you once and then they could do whatever the heck they want to do yeah they get so much off of so little it's kind of it's, it's, it's like frustrating yeah high low risk high reward yeah. that's something that i don't know no you're definitely right it's, it's frustrating sometimes um you know every, every character has some pretty risky things that they throw out that they won't really get punished for and then some characters more than others okay so that down b was a little uh what do you call it a little a little too What's the word I'm looking for? It's like ambitious, yes. I mean, too, yeah, too aggressive, man, too spontaneous. Just uh, Unfortunately, we just didn't really need that right then and there. Um, but I know that he wants to get the stock gone as quick he, as possible. I mean, but he has to. Oh, I think that's going to uh, – yeah, that's going to take it. Very, down very air, nice. Man. When you're at high percent, knock them off stage, down air. But okay. if I they recover high, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Atlas getting into a bit of an autopilot mode with that banana pill. He really wants to, co to connect, excuse me, as bad as possible. And he can possibly get, like, some up smashes coming out or? Probably. Uh, down tilt imagination. Yeah. Okay. So the typical uh, brawl ditty BS. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> sit, uh, sit behind banana. Toss a, toss a pop gun. Mm -hmm. Peanuts. Okay. Uh, was that a miss input right there? Possibly. That could possibly be a miss input, but, you know, you didn't get punished for it. So, well, I mean. That's Ooh. that's what happens with me. If I oh, there, I was about to say. I actually thought we should have seen four there that time. Okay, that time he decided to wait it out, and oh, at this point he's I, really he's really fishing. Yoshi can actually jump out of that. Yeah, yeah. Yoshi can actually jump out of that. Uh, JJ Rockets learned that uh, learned that real quick, and then he decided to do four there. Really? Yeah. Four there is the stronger, is the safer of the two. Against Yoshi, okay. D down tilt to four there. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Um, or down tilt uh, R A R uh, R A R back air. Okay. Wow. Okay.
<laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Holmes, Holmes with his uh, salt and sugar. Yep. Let's go ahead and get right into this next match. We are here on Lilac Cruise now. I, I don't think this was a good choice for either characters, to be honest. Yeah, Yoshi specifically. But I think what uh, CPU is going for is trying to get uh, Diddy on those platforms so that he could shark with up smash or do a lot of down airs as well, kind of chip at his shield, kind of pressure him. Yeah. The overall tilt and the curvature of the stage sometimes really can screw up certain characters, and I know Diddy Kong kind of comes to mind, him trying to space that down tilt correctly. You saw the stage tilt, you kind of become out of range, or you could find yourself becoming more in range and find yourself getting hit with it even more. So, Okay, down B. Doing a lot of down B. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to call him Don, Don B. Uh, <laughs> there's a there's a there's a Yoshi down down in uh, Arkansas by the name of Don B, and he does a lot of Down B. Really? Yeah. Uh, I thought he was going to. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's so a re second. Atlas doing a good job keeping Yoshi off stage. As I and as I said, Yoshi gets back on stage. So yeah, man, he's doing a phenomenal job. I, <laughs> he's kind of just exploiting uh, what Yoshi's already wonky recovery um, for actually what it is, man. Sometimes it's not as good as it should be, and especially on a stage like this, I mean, Yoshi could really find himself in a bad spot versus somebody like a Diddy Kong. And there you go, down tilt to up smash. Like I see him getting Z drop spiked a lot. If I don't know if Atlas is up to date on that or if he does that, but Z drop spike seems like a thing here. We will see. We will. We will see. I think Atlas is just going to play a, a more patient game, mm -hmm. and because like Yoshi has a hard time approaching to begin with, mm -hmm. so. Especially against Diddy. Like, Diddy is just like, yeah. Yeah, Diddy, Diddy's that boy. Diddy's that boy. Yeah. That, I think that's all I can say. That's yeah, all seriously. I have to say. No, yeah, seriously. I mean, you know, Diddy Kong is no chump, you know. Um, not too many bad matchups for the most part. You know, some pretty solid ones. The ones he loses, he doesn't lose by much. The ones he wins, he wins pretty convincingly. Yeah, solidly. Um, yeah. Has a few close ones, but majority of the matchups he wins are pretty convincing uh, wins, but. Okay, nice job using the monkey flip to kind of avoid that forward air at all costs because even at 40%, it gets um, if the spike doesn't kill you, like send you to the abyss, you won't be able to recover in time just because you're Diddy Kong even think about returning. So, See, I think uh, what Yoshi needs to do is just try to get uh, Diddy Kong off stage yeah. and abuse his recovery. Oh, like, yeah. It, but – Get the the thing is trying to get him off stage to begin with. It's like it's it's like a chore of its own. It really is, because he's just so nimble and so evasive. And you know when you give him platforms too, that really increases his mobility. You know, and for somebody like Yoshi, he needs those attacks to just kind of connect that on. But and there you go, down tilt and the up smash will take it. I don't think CPU knows that he could jump out of that. I don't think he knows he can jump out of that. 